welcome to Driving with John. Today I'm gonna bring up something that a lot of people probably do and they don't realize how unsafe it is even though there's a law in every state about it. Um, as I'm driving down the road, you know, I see a lot of cars around me and it's my job to make sure I know what's going on. And I would say at least two out of every three cars that pass me either are holding their phone while they're driving down the road or their phone sitting on their lap. I don't know why people do that. I mean, I remember a time when phones weren't even a thing, so maybe that's it, I don't know, but I don't understand. I have my phone in my truck. I don't touch it with my hands. I do voice commands where I can. Um, but outside of that, I don't touch my phone until I stop. So I'm not sure why people do that. It's very unsafe. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I'm seeing people drive by me, passing me going, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour with their phone on their lap and they're watching like a movie or you know there's something on their phone playing or they have it in their hand and they're typing with one hand as they're driving I see it all the time I'm not joking two out of three cars two-thirds two-thirds of the United States and sometimes it's three out of three cars I mean it's more likely three out of three than two out of three it's it's just ridiculous I, I don't understand why people do it it's unsafe there is nothing, I've said this in another video, there's nothing so important that's worth risking your life for. So, I don't want this to be a total nag fest. I mean, I understand people have lives, you know, whatever, but there's nothing on your phone so important that's worth risking your life for. My thing is, you know, just put your phone down. If you hear it go off, or if you don't have voice commands like I do, where I can have um, my phone read my text messages to me, I can have my phone you know, do everything for me, basically. Um, if you don't have that, then if you hear your phone go off, pull over. It's safer to pull over than it is to be going down the road looking at your phone. So, just something that, something that bothered me that, that I saw happen today and yesterday and pretty much every day. So, um, the other thing I wanted to bring up was, because, I, again, because I drive truck, I see this stuff all the time. And I understand people don't, understand what it's like to drive a truck but let me tell you the most frustrating thing on the face of the earth for a truck driver is a car we call them a four-wheeler that cuts you off and you may not even realize you do it because when you pull over in front of a rig you need to have I would say probably four to five car lengths before you come over a good judgment is the length of the rig in front of them before you pull over in front of them the reason why is today I've had it happen probably four times and unfortunately I didn't have my phone videoing and I'm not going to turn on while I'm driving but four or five times somebody cut me off today in just a couple of hours like not cutting off like a car length in front of me either I mean missing my bumper by less than an inch a couple of times and then getting in front of me and tapping their brakes I don't understand I don't want to kill anybody and if you want to die, find someone else, find some other way to do it or don't do it at all because I don't want to be the one that does it. And if you get in front of a rig and you slam on your brakes, that's what's going to happen. A rig cannot stop as quick as a car can. I mean, 80,000 pounds. I don't know how much a car weighs, honestly, but I guarantee it's a lot less than that. At least an eighth, if not more, probably more like 6,000 pounds. But... I mean, common sense tells you they're bigger than you. And they're probably going to run you over if you slam on your brakes. But people still do it. So, just a couple of things I noticed today. When you're going down the road, be courteous to truck drivers. We're just trying to make a living. We're just doing our jobs. Okay? And, yeah, some of them, like me, I have a restrictor on my truck. So, I can only go so fast. I stay in the slow lane all day long. Just on, try to stay out of everybody's way. But... You know, understand that they're just trying to do their job. It's no different than the, you know, the guy at the gas station that's working behind the counter. You know, he's just trying to do his job. Don't give him a hard time. You know, it's everywhere. Anywhere someone's doing their job, don't give them a hard time. Don't make their job harder. Yeah, I understand their job is to, to be nice to you because you're the customer. And that's true. But don't make their job harder. Don't make my job harder. Don't cut me off. Don't cut off any rig driver. I'm telling you, 
it is a death wish to do that. The only thing worse that you can, you can do than, well not even worse, it's probably just as bad. It's about the same I'd say. Besides getting in front of a truck and hitting your brakes like that, it is passing on the suicide side of the truck, the blind side. It's called suicide for a reason. Because if you pass a truck on that side, they can't see you. It's dangerous. Only do it when you really have to. I mean, I don't think any of you go to work every day and worry that you're going to kill somebody. And I know it's kind of a part of my job that that's one of my worries. I don't want to kill anybody. I want everybody to drive safely so that, you know, mistakes are going to happen. But if you're trying to be mindful when you're driving and try not to put yourself in positions to have those bad things happen to you, or me on the other case, then everybody's better off so I don't mean to be all negative and just lecturing today but this morning was a rough morning um a lot of cars on the highway <laughs> just were in a hurry I guess and decided that in front of me looked better than everywhere else on the road though there was three other lanes to choose from that were mostly open they decided the slow lane right in front of the big red truck yeah that makes sense <laughs> so yeah, it's just one of the frustrations of my job. I just don't want to kill anybody, and, you know, I don't think they want to kill anybody either, but they don't think about it ahead of time. So, next time you're out on the road and you see a trucker or an 18-wheeler, realize the guy's just doing his job, okay? Stay out of his way. Don't cut him off. Don't get on his blind side. You know, use a little common sense. Don't follow him so close behind that he can't see you. These are all very dangerous things, so... That's all. That's all I'm gonna. That's all. My, my whole video today is just, I guess, ranting about things that bother me and that people that don't follow the rules on the road. You know, if you have your phone out, and better yet, that happened this morning too. That's kind of part of this video. I had a guy this morning, no joke, went by the went by the my truck, one hand on the steering wheel, other hand holding his phone, looking at his phone. As he's looking at his phone, he's passing me. And then he comes over and misses the front of my truck by eh, probably that much. Going 70, uh, 65 miles an hour. I don't understand. There's nothing on that phone that was that important. I promise you. There was nothing on that phone that important. But, you know, I try not to get mad. I just back off and, you know, do what you have to do. But I just don't understand why people are like that. So, next time you're on the road, just, you know. Say hi to a trucker. Go like this. I don't see this anymore. What, what happened to this? You guys, I know all the old school people remember this. You know, hitting their horn. What happened to that? What happened to people doing this? I mean, when I was a kid, it used to happen all the time. I used to do it all the time. But I've been driving for like two years, and it never happens anymore. I think in two years, maybe five times, you know, that it's happened. And it's usually, I can see the parents encouraging the kids to do it. And maybe that's how it started when I was a kid. I don't know. But what's wrong with that, man? Encourage your kids to go like this. It gives me joy. I love hitting that horn. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't get the opportunity to do it very often. So, I mean, I can do it whenever I want. My horn. But, you know what I mean? I want a reason to do it. I go like this, so I at least have a reason to do it. So, all right, enough of this video. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and uh, whatever you do, drive safe out there. Stay off your phones. It's not worth it. Really, it's not worth it. And don't forget to laugh at yourself. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and you will see either me or the road or both on the next video.